I did enter the fox chamber after the murder, but I didn't enter after, after Jixie had heard the confession and left. Man, guys, story is changing an awful lot, but the judge is like, uh, 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 sometimes stories change, I guess. Lying is okay. Oh, God. Also, Des, I saw that Iris is not having a good time with E3, or at least with, did not appreciate Ubisoft's, um, the the presentation, I guess, from what I saw on the Facebook. I heard the mayor groan and hid behind the folding screen there. What I saw there up close was absolutely horrifying. So you see, I was there, but merely watching from behind the screen. <laughs> From behind the screen? Why, yes, I believe you wouldn't be spotted if you were there. Just so. He could see everything without being spotted by the victim or that tanuki filch. Suffice to say, he was mere witness to the events, rather than an actual third party. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This guy's as slippery as an eel. Apollo, you think he's telling the truth? Well, he was in the fox chamber, so at least that much must be true. The defense may cross-examine our slightly voyeuristic witness. I, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. In the fox chamber. I know. Okay, well, what did you see? Could you describe the crime scene in a bit more detail? Hmm? And what exactly would you like details about? Well, what I'd like to ask you about is the murder weapon. Could you describe the state of the weapons that had been used at the scene? The spear had been thrust all the way through Alderman QB. And then there was that statue the alderman used to bludgeon Mayor Tenma. That incredibly inspiring symbol had fallen to the floor. All right, the statue. But why would he find it inspiring? Why exactly did you find the statue inspiring? <laughs> well, when I saw that statue, I felt as if the merger had been realized. It was like... A celebration of union between the town and village. An inspiring symbol of goodwill. Broken statue next to a bloody corpse. Real inspiring. Well, Mr. Justice, do you consider his statement to be of any importance? Yeah, because he still thought it was, yeah. Got him. Very important. Super important, you dumb bastard. I believe that to be extremely important. I request that it be added to the testimony. Yeah, is it? <laughs> Did it maybe look like this? Because that doesn't look very happy to me. Yeah, it was. It was broken after the bludgeoning. Yeah. Hmm. But he wouldn't know that. Your lies have finally betrayed you, Mr. LaBelle. Yeah, I don't want to think about the voyeuristic witness. I mean, do what you want, but I don't want any voyeur anything of this, this, that. What possibly could you mean? You said the statue was like a celebration of union between town and village. Isn't that correct? It is indeed, but what of it? The two yokai are joining hands in goodwill. As if they were celebrating the municipal merger. Mm, something the matter? So, how did you really know that this statue was meant to be a symbol of goodwill again? What? <laughs> Justice Dono, explain yourself and make it quick. This statue was meant to symbolize goodwill in its original form, but that was a secret. A secret? Whatever do you mean? What I mean is that it broke when someone used it to strike Mayor Tenma in the head. 
What's left clearly makes it look like the two yokai are battling it out. <laughs> the statue's secret and its true form were lost inside that locked room. For Ms. Tenma is the only living soul who should know what it once looked like. So, Mr. LaBelle, where could you have possibly seen the statue in its original form? Uh, uh, what do you mean, where? The only possible answer is this. You saw the statue in its original form. Right there in the room where the alderman was murdered before it was broken. How, how dare you? Mr. Justice, are you accusing the witness with some sort of crime? Yes. Yes, I am. Lord LaBelle, I accuse you of the murder of Alderman Rex Cuby. Darg! And also for the bludgeoning of the other guy, which was rude as fuck, by the way. Order! Order! Mr. LaBelle, you've been accused of murder. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Darn! How could you possibly accuse me? Uh, the embodiment of beauty. Way to go, Apollo. This is the conclusive evidence we needed. Magnifico. We've got you now. We know you killed the Dolgerman. Now admit it! I, 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 uh. Silence. No, don't silence him. We got it. We're on a roll. Enough of your silly games, Justice Dono. This prancing peacock could not possibly be the killer. What do you- why? Why do you say that? Black wool? What are you talking about? His alibi has already crumbled to dust. And I just proved that he was in the fox chamber while it was still locked tight. So I win this case. Sir? Why could he have not seen the statue in its true form before the murder? After all, he was close friends with the Alderman. Ergo. Yes, that's right, I, I clearly remember it now. Alderman QB told me about it. No, fuck you. Stop giving him outs, you dumb bastard. Uh, about what the statue actually looked like. <laughs> I mean, he was a good friend of mine. <laughs> yeah, no, it really should be. Surely, that's way too much. Yeah, that's convenient. Yeah, right, he wouldn't show you a secret gift list just like that. Moreover, it has already been proven that he was not present at the t scene of the crime. It has? Forgotten, have we? Recall the little scamp statement, if you will. When Jinxie Tenma unlocked the fox chamber, she saw the alderman and the mayor collapse therein, and no one else. I don't know, what if uh, Fancy Pants was hiding behind that chair that was on the side? The fact is, it was you two who made that apparent in yesterday's court session. Thus, Florent LaBelle could not possibly have been in that locked room. Ah, no! Ah! Everybody stop screaming. You gotta figure this out. I still get it. How could Jinxie not have seen LaBelle? The proof is incontrovertible. No room for debate exists. Am I not right, your baldness? Mm, it does seem awfully conclusive. The facts point out to the defendant and the victim being the only people in the locked room. Moreover, the defendant has already confessed. Objection. But it wasn't... What? I just fu let me talk, you dumb bastard! You cannot defend the in indefensible. Your role in the charade is over, Justice Dono. Shut up! Fucking hate it when they're like, it's a that you can't do anything. It's done. No, fuck you. But, but but your baldness. This trial would last an eternity if we were to keep crossing blades with these simpletons. It is high time you brought down the hammer of justice. A uh, point well made. I believe it's time to declare a verdict. Shut up! God, the judge fucking sucks. Everybody here fucking sucks. The court finds the defendant, Damien Tenma. Yeah, hold it. Ka 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 ka! It would seem that my time is at hand. Mayor Tenma, counselor, there is a matter to which I must testify. 
I recall it now only for your good graces. I imagine that when he came up there, he like fucking just body checked Mr. Fancy Pants to get up to the witness stand. That probably didn't happen, but I would love it if that's the way it happened, where he just barreled through him and he was like, it's me time. Counselor? Oh, right. He must mean me. Has he finally remembered what happened before the blow to his head? Bailiff, don't just stand there. Seize him. It's no good. I can't restrain him. He's way too tall. Ka, 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 ka. Know me in despair. For I am Ten Mataro, Demon Lord of the Yokai. Yeah, just <laughs> destroyed him. M Mr. Justice, do something. When am I responsible for court security? Apollo, this is our chance. We might get some new information out of him. Your Honor, seeing as our client has something new to say, I believe due process demands that we hear him out, even if he is a yokai. Hmm, when you put it that way. Eh, still, I believe his testimony by a yokai is unprecedented in the legal world. Hmm, unprecedented in, abs in absurdity, more like. All right then, Mr. Damien Tenma, or should I say Mr. Tenmataro, worse bullshit has happened here, so I'll allow this. Your testimony, please. I shall now speak of recollections most real courtesy of my host, Damien Tenma. Heed these words, mortals, for hear them but once you shall. Ka 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 ka. Thanks. The ruler of demon kind. Cool. Barely conscious was Damien there amid the darkness. Suddenly, two yokai did appear. On one side, I, Tenmataro, ruler of demon kind. And on the other, my mortal enemy, the nine tailed fox. <coughs> hmm? Well, this isn't helping our case at all. Um, so, is the defendant asserting that the room he was in was very dark at the time? Hmm. Strange as it may be, yes, indeed, all was in darkness. Yeah, exactly. And the part about the Tenmatara and the Nine-Tailed Fox being there? Yes, that too! Tenmatara towered overhead, and the Nine-Tailed Fox glittered gold. Ah, oh God, I'm being attacked! Hmm. It would seem the defendant's recollections are not to be trusted. Yes, well, truth be told, my host's recollections are still a bit fuzzy. As if half dreamt, that happening lingers in his mind. Uh, Apollo, maybe I can help here. Really? Oh, you mean with your fancy tech? Yeah, I can hear it. The discord in his heart. It, I sense an unusual emotion in the mayor's memory of the event. Okay, I just hope our findings don't come back to haunt us. Again. <laughs> oh, light up the applause button and the laugh track for that joke, Apollo. You and pay to see black. Yeah, no, I would love that. Everybody should get a turn in beating the shit out of him. Barely conscious was Damien there amidst the darkness. Suddenly, two yokai did appear. On one side, I, Tenmataro, ruler of demon kind. And on the other, my mortal enemy, the nine-tailed fox. Why are you so happy about that? That's weird. When the nine-tailed fox appeared, you not only experienced shock and sadness, but also something like joy as well. Well, I'm guessing they were both wrestling buddies or something, so they probably had history. Joy? <laughs> Perhaps it was joy at the light coming to my eyes at long last. A long and terrible creaking did pierce the silence. And then there was light! On reflection, it was a door that did produce that infernal racket. Creaking door? <gasps> oh, you must be talking about the forbidden chamber door. It does make a lot of noise. So this means the Forbidden Chamber really was opened. But what about the sudden light he described? I think I know. He mentioned darkness and Tenmataro towering overhead. Maybe the mayor wasn't really in the Fox Chamber at the time of the crime. Mr. Mayor, did the darkness that you were in happen to be here? 
Take that! The Forbidden Chamber? Was it not the Fox Chamber where the murder did occur? Feds all ready for you. Yes! Well, we're about to, we're going to wrap this up pretty soon, because I think we're nearing, I think we're nearing the end of this, maybe, possibly. Oh. The Forbidden Chamber? Was it not the, f yeah, I already said that. Yeah, but it all makes sense if you were in the Forbidden Chamber. That terrible creaking sound was probably the Forbidden Chamber's door opening. And the towering ten Matara you saw? Most likely the Forbidden Chamber statue. <coughs> Why, yes, that would explain it! The darkness and the staff and that demon's grasp. But even if all that's true, then what about the nine-tailed fox? Mm, maybe he was seeing things, just like Jinxie and her imaginary yokai. Or maybe it's the ears on it, you know? I don't know. Fantastico, Apollo, it's entirely possible. In a groggy, dreamlike state, people can misremember things and events. Misremember, you say? Unfortunately, RC can't use her laptop to watch because her laptop has bad screen. Ah. <sighs> I was so excited for you, too, when you were talking about using it again. Misremember, you say? Hmm, let me think. Ah, I do believe I remember now. That, that was not the nine-tailed fox. It was, oh, wait, because you have your laptop and then the Chromebook. I'm sorry, I, they're two different things. That, that was not, yeah. It was the amazing nine-tails. What? Oh, so he came in to help you? The amazing nine tails. At first, this is but a dream, I thought. Now, however, most clearly do I recall it. Twas the amazing nine tails who did open the forbidden chamber's door. Oh, 60%. I'm sorry I asked. Amazing nine tails? But that was the victim, Alderman QB, right? Yeah, why would he open the forbidden chamber? Wasn't he trying to keep it sealed? Never mind that, this is completely new information. Let me enter it and run an update. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, in the forbidden chamber. Info update. It's the darkness. A mighty statue of Tenma Taro loomed overhead. Suddenly the door did open and a shaft of light did pierce the gloom. The amazing Nine Tails had come to the rescue. Wait, why would it be sad? Why would you be sad? Be friend. The amazing Fox Wrestler, exactly. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, RC. I didn't mean to assume laptop book things. When the amazing Nine Tails opened the chamber, banishing the darkness within, you felt joy. You also, didn't you also feel shock and sadness? Hmm, yes, in the hazy depths of my mind, I do recollect something of that nature. I believe it was the fiend's cape of red. For when I did behold it, a great wave of sadness did inexplicably wash over me. Wait. Cape of red? Yeah, isn't his cape not red? Apollo, we've reduced the noise level. Oh, but there's still a little left. Mayor Tenma, why were you sad when you saw the red cape? Hmm, why indeed? What could this mean? Guess his memory is still a little spotty. I know because his latest recollection contradicts the evidence. Yeah, it's one of those contradictions that slaps you right across the face. Hmm, something this obvious could arise. When someone is trying to force a fuzzy memory into a definitive shape. Does he not wear a cape? I, th I thought it was a part of his, um... Oh, I, I thought it was a part of his, here. I mean, he's got the tail thing, which is kind of like a cape, right? Actually, yeah, that, yeah, it's not a cape, it's just tails. Yeah, we're gonna have to... You know what I have to do? You need to present evidence that contradicts the image you see. 
Ah, oh, so it's basically the same as the usual cross-examination process. Okay, time to review the evidence. Look out, contradiction! Here comes justice! Yeah, okay. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> now I've... Yeah, it is that... It's gotta be that picture. That's the only one. Emily door did open. A shaft of light to pierce the glow. Info update. Yeah, but... It doesn't have a red cape. Where's that glossy? Objection! You said the amazing Nine Tails' cape was red. Are you sure about that? Yes, well, I do believe it was a red cape I saw, but... Mayor Tenma! Does this cape look red to you? Oh, that certainly does not look red. Not even scarlet or crimson either. Because <laughs> Miles... T wow, no. Nevertheless, upon my liberation, something red did fill my as yet hazy field of, bl of view. And I thought to myself, ah, the amazing Ninetales is arrayed in a cape of red. You mistook that red something for his cape, huh? I bet it was your own blood. Apparently so. And remembering it now brings a great sadness to me. So the red something probably wasn't a cape after all. Maybe that great sadness he mentioned is what's interfering with his memory. Well, he would have seen the fox chamber behind the amazing nine tails. What red object could have he have seen there that would have been that shocking? Huh. I know, could it have been Mr. Mayor? Oh God, it's blood. It's blood! Ah, it's the blood of his friend. Something red that could produce a deep sadness. Could it be, Mr. Tenma, what you saw was the alderman's blood? Blood? Why, yes, it was blood. Arg! Oh, oh God, are you okay? Are you okay, sir? It's all coming back to me now. It wasn't a red cape that I saw. It was lying behind the amazing nine tails, the alderman's bloody body. Eek! Oh no! Man, but is LaBelle that muscly? It's hard to tell underneath those shoulder pads. Oh. Bye bye. Thanks, Widget. That's terrible. His noise, you ch his noise levels down to zero. Now he's remembered all those repressed, horrible memories. Thanks, Widget. I think he's remembered everything now. Uh, does this mean the Amazing Ninetales killed Alderman QB? But the Alderman was the Amazing Ninetales, so how exactly would that work? Hey, I asked you first. Well, Mr. Justice, you sure know how to make a complicated matter even more complicated. Sounds a lot like your marriage, Judge. Oh, I don't know. True, but at the time of the crime, our client was in the forbidden chamber. Moreover, silence. Come on, I'm fixing things here. Hmm. Oi, don't you think this strange? The little scamp has already confirmed her father to be in the fox chamber, but she said not about seeing the amazing nine tails there. Ugh, you just had to bring that up, didn't you? Jinxie didn't see LaBelle either. It's so weird, who really was in that room then? Would the defense care to share any theories with the court? Can I explain the inconsistency between the defendant? Yes, I can. Yes, uh, of course, I can explain it. Because if I don't, we're in serious trouble. It's true. Yeah, got him. Now with more of your bluffs and fairy tales, I trust. Fair warning, Justice Dono. I shall have your head if you fail to explain this. Eep! What about a good old-fashioned penalty? <coughs> well, Mr. Justice, let's see if you have a head worth keeping on your shoulders. Wow, you're one to talk. Uh, first of all, Mr. LaBelle was definitely in the Fox Chamber while it was locked. We also know that Mayor Tenma was in the Forbidden Chamber based on his testimony. 
These two facts are crucial to my explanation. So let us consider the following question. If the facts point to Florent LaBelle and the victim being there at the scene, why did Jinxie Tenma see her father, Mayor Tenma, and the victim? Hmm, very Oh! The fucking hair dye! The hair dye! To make his hair black. Very good question indeed. I suppose you have an answer for us. Sadly, you'd be supposing wrong. Um, you think she could have mistaken LaBelle for the mayor? Well, if she did, then the question is, did she do that? Well, how about that explanation, Mr. Justice? I believe the time for questions is over. The defense asserts that Florent LaBelle was at the scene of the crime. However, Jinxie Tenma has testified that she saw her father collapse there. If she has, in fact, misremembered the event, what could have made her do so? Disguises! The figure Miss Tenma saw was not her father. It was Florent LaBelle disguised as Damon, Damien Tenma. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That is a complete impossibility. Their faces are utterly unalike. How could you explain that away with a mere disguise? Yes, they both do have incredibly distinctive faces. But maybe the disguise completely hid his face? I think Jinxie would have mentioned if she couldn't see her father's face. And if it was that sort of disguise, wouldn't she have removed it? Oh, right. Your sword is as dull as your mind, Justice Dono. Shall I show you what a truly sharp blade is capable of? Ahaha! <laughs> I think I'll pass! Dag! Judge! Hello, this man is trying to kill me. Hm. Are you okay, Apollo? I'm... I'm not fine, am I? Well, now that we have a, that little fairy tale out of the way, your baldness, your verdict, if you will. Mr. Justice, I believe it's a time for a verdict if you have no further arguments. Uh, what even, what's even left for me to do? Paulo, remember what Mr. Wright always says. When you're stuck in a tight spot, turn the case upside down. Turn the case upside down? Hmm, he does say that, doesn't he? I don't quite see how it applies here. Still, never hurts to give it a try, I guess. Let's see. Rather than Jinxie didn't remove the disguise, maybe she couldn't remove it. And rather than she didn't tell anyone about the disguise, maybe she couldn't talk about it. Yeah, a wrestler's mask. Wow, I wonder what it is. And what about the fact that it was the Amazing Ninetales who opened the door? A mask that can't be removed in front of others? And these facts turn things around. Hi. Ah! No! <laughs> we, we got it all backwards. Wait! Oh no! <laughs> what? Wait! What? <laughs> Wait! Apollo, I think... I think we might have made a huge mistake. What? But it was... Oh! <laughs> oh! Your baldness, I see no need for further indulge in their silly little farce. The defense has no proof. They never did and they never will. Hmm. And then it sees... Oh, no! Objection! What? I do have proof! Do you now? All right. But this better be good, Mr. J... I mean, I guess it could have been either of them, but it just... What? We can solve the remaining riddles by turning all of our assumptions upside down. Why Jinxie Tenma mistook Mr. LaBelle for her father? Why she couldn't remove the costume or tell anyone about it in the first place? These riddles are inextricably linked to Mayor Tenma's secret identity. What the fuck? Holy shit! A shocking secret identity that will turn the entire premise of this case upside down! This piece of evidence clearly him <laughs> What? Gah! What? Absolute claptrap! Poppycock! Boulder Dash! We thought the Alderman was the Amazing Ninetales and the Mayor was Ten Mataro. 
That's why we believe the mayor killed the alderman in his lust for Nine Tails Vale. And it was the basis for the prosecution's entire case against our client. However, <laughs> we got the whole thing backwards. Mayor Tenma wasn't Tenma Tar at all. He was the amazing Nine Tails. What's this? What? Okay. You, you'd best explain yourself, Justice Dono. And where, from where do you, you derive such a far-fetched conclusion? <coughs> Jinxie no doubt knew the true identity of the Amazing Nine Tails, but she couldn't tell anyone no matter what. That's why she didn't say it was the Amazing Nine Tails. She saw passed out. In which, that's terrifying, by the way. Even though, unbeknownst to her, it was really Florence LaBelle in disguise. Silence. The accused and that deceitful dandy are utterly dissimilar in physical build and voice. The little scamp would not, would have seen the difference. Remember, Mr. LaBelle has his very own brand of cosmetics. Why couldn't he fake a different build, too? And anyone speaking through a mask would naturally sound different. Silence. Why did she not simply pull the mask off? Cause you, do you not understand how wrestling works with masks, sir? A masked wrestler's disguise is more precious than life itself. As a huge fan of the amazing Ninetales, she would never dare unmask him. Ah! Oh, yeah, that's right. Get hoisted by your own petard. This case of mistaken identity also explains the riddle of the locked room. Then by all means, Mr. Justice, answer it for us already. First, Mr. LaBelle entered the room where the mayor and the alderman were talking. I suspect he brought with him coffee laced with some sort of sedative. Once the alderman was out cold. Dun, dun, dun. That's when Mr. LaBelle killed him. Next, he took the mayor, who he had also drugged, into the forbidden chamber. Then he returned to the fox chamber, slipped into some of the mayor's spare clothes, and completed the disguise by donning the amazing Nine Tails' mask. With his entire charade in place, Mr. LaBelle then let out a scream. The scream that led Jinxie Tenma to the scene. Ah, so then... The person who said I killed Alderman Cubie was... Yep, that was Florent LaBelle in disguise. The mayor never actually confessed. Silence. Hm, this is no more than guesswork and speculation. Now stop your jabbering and... <coughs> no, you twisted samurai! This time, you stop your jabbering and let me finish making my case. Arg! I hate it when people talk back to me! Once Ms. Tenma left the scene, Mr. LaBelle, still wearing the mayor's clothes and mask, opened the forbidden chamber so he could drag the mayor back out into the fox chamber. Oh, so the amazing nine tails was the mayor saw was right. It was LaBelle opening the forbidden chamber. The second time Mr. LaBelle opened the door to the forbidden chamber, he happened to catch the thieving Mr. Filch by surprise. Start startled, Mr. Filch in his Ten Matara disguise ran as fast as he could away from the room. As he did, he left behind him a trail of feathers and tracks and gave Ms. Tenma the scare of her life in the hallway. With no one left to witness the events that had occurred, Mr. LaBelle then proceeded to drag the sleeping mayor back into the fox chamber. I see. Well, that all certainly does make sense. Then, after dragging the mayor back into the fox chamber, Mr. LaBelle threw the mask out the window and fled the room. 
For this absurd theory to work, it requires that the defendant be the amazing Nine Tails. However, he was the one pushing for the municipal merger. That such an individual could possibly be the amazing Nine Tails is preposterous. The mayor was blackmailed into pursuing the merger. Ms. Tenma's life would have been in danger if he had openly voiced his opposition. That's why he created a secret identity as the Amazing Nine Tails. God, this madness. No one could possibly hatch such an insane plot. No one except a killer as insane as his plot, and I'd say Florent LaBelle more than qualifies. Foolish mortal, it is at your own peril that you forget who I am. Mayor Tenma, it's okay now. Jinxie will be safe as soon as Mr. LaBelle is arrested. You are the Amazing Ninetales, aren't you? I, I, hmm. Jinxie? Oh, weird, yeah, fucker. <laughs> you have quite the active imagination. Mayor Tenma is not the Amazing Ninetales. What do you mean? Well, has the mayor admitted to it yet? Yeah, he's back to being blonde. But that's just... And even if he did admit to such nonsense, <laughs> I would reveal the truth behind Tenma Taro right here and now. What? Ah, oh, you dumb bastard. Why, you? You would dare reveal the secret? <laughs> oh, my good friend, the alderman told me all about it. But it wouldn't be good to expose the truth. What with the superstitions now, would it? The truth behind Tenma Taro, what's he talking about? So go ahead, say it. Say I am the amazing Ninetales. I dare you. Ah! Wait. Will someone please explain what's going on here? Mayor Tenma will do anything to keep the truth behind Tenma Taro a secret. A dark, terrible truth that has been kept secret by the village superstitions. And if the mayor admits to being the Amazing Ninetales, he'll expose the truth. Right, I won't have him walking free because of some nonsense you made up. Hmm. So what now, Justice Dono? Without the mayor's admission, your theory is as useless as you are in battle. Shut up, Blackwell. I'll show you who's useless. Apollo, don't you dare give up now. I know, I know. Your Honor, I believe Mr. LaBelle's statements warrant a thorough cross-examination. After all, the true identity of the Amazing Ninetales is the cornerstone of this case. Hmm, you do have a point there. Please answer this court, Mr. LaBelle. Is the defendant the Amazing Ninetales or not? The Amazing Ninetales' is true identity. The Amazing Ninetales' is true identity is not Mayor Tenma. The mayor would never admit to such utter nonsense. But if he did admit to such nonsense, I will expose the truth behind Tenma Taro right here and now. And that would bring ruin upon Ninetales Vale, just as the superstitions say. <clears throat> Talk about out of the pot into the fire. This rate, the mayor will be found guilty for sure. Honestly speaking, if Mayor Damien Tenma is not the Amazing Nine Tails, I'm afraid I don't see how the defense has much of a case here. <laughs> and let's just leave it at that, shall we? We all know the Alderman QB was the Amazing Nine Tails anyway. I mean, that's how Nine Tails Vale made a comeback. The Alderman was so popular. There's gotta be a hole in that testimony somewhere, but I don't even know where to start. Since we don't have any proof that the mayor is the Amazing Nine Tails, then we'll just have to get him to admit it himself. Admits it, LaBelle's gonna expose the secret behind Tenma Taro. Ugh, we're so close. I know it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Uh. 
What do you mean the superstitions? Let's press that. Do not gaze upon Ten Mataro. Do not tell others if you see him. Isn't that what the village superstitions say? Exactly! Telling others what Ten Mataro looks like would reveal the truth. That's why the superstitions were written down in the first place. And Ruin coming to the village if you free him? Is that not a warn is that a warning to not expose the truth? <laughs> Bingo! And the truth is Ten Mataro is a great greed inspiring fortune. That's what the whole battle over Nine Tails Veil is all about. Ten Mataro is a great fortune. Come to think of it. Yeah, get rich quick, grandpappy. Temitara actually be? Yeah. Telling the villagers that Temitara is a terrifying yokai is what has scared them away from the forbidden chamber and the treasure within. That's how the treasure has been kept secret all this time. <laughs> well, well, well. It seems our ace attorney has uncovered the truth that must not be revealed. Mayor Tenma looks like he wants to keep the truth hidden as much as I do. Tragedy is doomed to repeat itself as long as Ten Mataro exists. That's why the secret must be protected. As long as Ten Mataro exists, huh? Ha! Ah! Mr. LaBelle, please add that statement to your testimony. Yeah, well, what if it doesn't exist anymore? Look at this stupid doll I found. Mr. LaBelle, what if Ten Mataro no longer existed? Revealing the truth would no longer be an issue, would it? If Ten Mataro no longer existed? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Yeah, the treasure's gone. Get fucked. Oh, apparently you haven't heard. Uh, Ten Mataro no longer exists. But I guess you didn't get to do a thorough search after the key was taken from you. Because when we searched the Forbidden Chamber, there wasn't any treasure there. Really? Well, maybe you weren't looking in the right place. Sorry, but I have proof that Ten Matara no longer exists. Take a look at this figure. What do we have here? It looks like some sort of creature. We found this in the Forbidden Chamber. It's an Izuki Kozo figure. The great thief, Azuki Kozo, used to leave them at the scene of his crimes. Uh, are you suggesting that that Ten Mataro has been stolen? <coughs> yep. Phineas Filch's grandfather, a master thief, was the culprit. And by that high, hideous, moronic caretaker's grandfather, no less? You! I... No! My beautiful golden Ten Mataro was. The greed inspired by Ten Mataro can no longer bring ruin along upon Ninetales Vale. Isn't that right, Mayor Tenma? The root of the tragedy would indeed seem to be gone. In fact, I now recall the Alderman revealing the secret to me on the day of our meeting. He must have been speaking of Ten Mataro. For he said to me, the gold ingot was gone. The gold ingot? You mean the treasure that is Ten Matar- Yeah, that, remember the scroll? Recall, if you will, the scroll in the Forbidden Chamber. Ten Mataro is the yellowish object shown there. A giant gold ingot that my nomadic ancestors bestowed upon Nine Tails Vale. In return for that gold, my ancestors did receive from Ninetales Vale land that would become Tenma Town. But drive the villagers mad with greed did that fortune. Bitter was their greed-fueled battle. It was as if they were possessed. My ancestors' gold became a curse upon their village, a curse of ruin. Thus, it was that the yokai Tenma Taro came to be. So, Ten Mataro and the village superstitions were merely fairy tales to scare people away. Hm, fairy tale or not, Ten Mataro made quite a mess of things. Yes, indeed, for there is no greater monster than 
a mortal man's lust for gold. Well, you know what they say, the love of money is the root of all evil. My ancestors did bring a terrible thing here to Ninetales Vale. A thing so terrible that Tenma Taro, a monster just as terrible, had to be created to keep it a secret. Yet here we have we have naught but love for the little village to which we owe our very existence. Tenma Town would never seek to take over Ninetales Vale in a merger. Oh my, that's quite a shocking lesson in history. Mr. Mayor, now that we know Tenmataro no longer exists, are you ready to admit your secret? You are the amazing Ninetales, aren't you? No! D don't do it! Please, no! Fuck you. <coughs> Be gone, you demented demon! <clears throat> now where was I? The Golden Lord of Yokai, the Amazing Nine Tails, is indeed me. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. And that means that we blew this case wide open. Jinxie. Oh, hi, Jinxie. Y yes. The man wearing the mayor's clothes, who you saw collapse in the fox chamber, was he wearing the Amazing Nine Tails' mask? Uh-huh, that's what made me think it was Papa. He said he was going to reveal his secret identity to Alderman Cubie that day, so... So it really wasn't Papa I saw there, was it? It was Florence's idea from the start. He advised me to reveal my secret identity to the Alderman. Yeesh, Rube Goldberg machines have less elaborate setups than LaBelle's scheme. Wow. You may rest easy now, little Jinxie. That monster's deception is through. Caw, 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 caw. True facts behind the case have finally come to light. Mayor Tenma did not kill Alderman QB, but Florent LaBelle did. How dare you, peasant? Oh, no. Yeah, fuck you. Get wrecked. Silence. Ah, you just can't give up without a fight. Frickin... Hmm. Justice, Dono. You should have at least had a real blade in your hand if you desire to cross swords with me. Or have you mistaken this battlefield for a training ground? Uh, what's this guy want now? Yeah. Evidence is like a razor-sharp blade that cuts through bone as though it were butter. But you have only blind guesses, a dull blade incapable of even cutting a cake. Yes, you're there, Mr. Justice. You don't even know what the fuck he's saying, Judge. Shut up. After all, evidence is everything in a court of law. But, 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 they're right. Let's see some evidence. Of course, a perfect being like me wouldn't leave any incriminating evidence behind. <laughs> Shut up, fucking dick. This is the final battle. Just as a samurai must live and die by the sword, you will live or die by the evidence you hold. My swift blade of judgment awaits. Now present your conclusive evidence, or don't you have any? Oh crud, of course I do. Evidence? Oh, I have evidence. Wait, do I have evidence? Y you do? Of course. It's just the conclusive evidence we need too. I'm gonna finally prove Mayor Tenma innocent. Here comes justice! Oh god, what's happening? Let's review the facts. The most damning evidence against Mayor, the, against the Mayor was the crime scene itself. Hi, Zyla! The Mayor and the victim were the only two people found in the room. Also, we all thought the Alderman was killed because he was the amazing, amazing Ninetales, but as we know now, of course we were way off. The Amazing Nine Tails is really Mayor Damien Tenma. That's why when his daughter Jinxie saw the Amazing Nine Tails collapse at the scene, she mistook him for her father. Those are facts as we have now revealed. Uh, we have now. 
However, Mr. LaBelle asserts that he did not leave any evidence at the scene of the crime. But he didn't say anything about evidence outside the scene of the crime. <laughs> Maybe he isn't as clever as he thinks. Yeah, outside the scene of the crime. That was out, that, yeah. A clue inside the mask. Whoa, what is happening? Oh, I know, the amazing Ninetales' mask. It was found washed up along the river. What sort of clue does the mask hold? White hair. White hair in the mask. What is happening? Lauren LaBelle. <laughs> what is this? The white hair is LaBelle's. Wow, that was a whole lot of special effects just to say that one thing. Oh, right, that hair's Florent LaBelle's. Yes! Now that's what I call conclusive evidence. Am I doing that all in my head and they're like, why is he just sitting there? Hello? No, he, it was all in my head. <laughs> it was in my head. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Uh, of course I do. Observe this mask, if you will. Doesn't it look cool? Uh, that mask, how is that conclusive evidence? It's not the mask itself, but the white hair inside of it. We originally thought it belonged to Alderman Rex Cuby. Yes, but the Amazing Nine Tails, as we know now know, is Mayor Tenma, so that is correct. So the question is, whose hair could this be? And the answer to that is the last person to have worn it before it was discarded. That would be you, Mr. Florent LaBelle. What are you talking about? I never had hideous white hair like that. Silence. It would appear your coup de grace failed to hit its mark. This freakish fop is not the white hair type. Because he... He's busy being one ludicrously garish color or another. Objection. Which is exactly the point, you dumb bastard. Uh, no, Prosecutor Blackwell. It's you who has made a fatal error. What? What? Remember, where this mask was found? Washed up by the side of the river? With that in mind... He's an ex-convict. Well, no, never mind. He's not an ex-convict. He is a convict, but he's the prosecutor for this uh, game, and he threatens to kill me constantly. <laughs> he also shares lots of prison stories. And no, I didn't shave any dogs. I shaved my head. Thanks, Dixies. This last piece of evidence will solve all the remaining riddles. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty sure it's okay. Yeah, it makes complete sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's Ace Attorney. I I I don't know what to expect from the other side anymore. No, it was a lot of hair. See, I'm not sure if he actually has. May yeah, maybe he, that's why he's like, oh, I need to change my hair color all the time because white hair suck. Are that? Hmm. What is that? This is Mr. LaBelle's own private brand of hair color. It washes out with just water. He doesn't share it with people because he doesn't know how to actually sell things. The court will also recall that the amazing Nine Tails' mask washed up along the side of the village river with white hair inside of it. Ah! Because some sort of, yeah, something like that. But he's also a big old dick bag to me. What's this? Are you saying the preening peacock's hair color is? That's exactly what I'm saying. Mr. LaBelle's hair color is a freaky work of fiction. But thanks to the river flowing through Ninetales Vale, we now have real life expose. Ah! The white hair in this mask is conclusive evidence proving you're the real killer. A DNA test is all we need to prove it, and we both know we'll get a match. Yeah, dump water on the man, please. Admit it! Florent LaBelle! You were the one who killed Alderman QB! With all that spraying, I imagine you'd wash the color right out. You, you peasant! How dare you! Ah! 
<laughs> my, you profane my beauty. We're gonna exterminate all of you. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Gross. Stop. I don't want to stare at him in his crazy face. Wait, his hair is gonna be white afterward, isn't it? Ah, oh, it is. <laughs> oh God. He's dead. He's dead. Now his phones are going off again. Hello, this is LaBelle. What? The project is off? This is LaBelle. The, the sponsors have pulled out? LaBelle speaking. I'm fired? You mean I'm no longer Mayor Tenma's aide? Hello, this is LaBelle. What? There's a stratospheric damages claim against me? One hundred million dollars? <laughs> I'm finished! Washed up! Stick a fork in me! I'm done! Hey, it's funny you said that about me earlier. <laughs> uh, well, that was... Here's for losers. Yeah, well, it's okay. I don't crap on people who like to watch E3, but it's not for me. I just get bored of the talkies. Flip phones, yeah, in 2027, exactly. This is preposterous. I, Simon Blackwell, defeated? Yeah, what was that about this being training? It looks like you should have taken the training wheels off of your sword or something. I don't know how to say things. Order, order, order in the court. <sighs> well, this is quite the unexpected outcome. I must hand it to you, Mr. Justice. You really turned this case on its head. Yeah, just like that other lawyer, <laughs> Phoenix Wright. What's he up to? <laughs> Wait, was that a comp? That was a compliment, right? <coughs> nice. Devolver's pretty great. I, I like their games and the, the presentations I've seen and like their little area when I've gone to cons. Prosecutor Blackwell, what have you done with Florent LaBelle? The defaced man has withered like a flower without water. One of the officers is currently tending to him with a sprinkler. Um, wouldn't that just wash even more of his makeup off? Allow me to explain the actions of the guilty party in detail. The motive, of course, was to steal the gold ingot known as Ten Mataro. Oh, Phoenix is here. He's just currently taking the bar exam to get his license back. It's weird. There's a few games where... Well, there's a game in between this one and the last three where he's lost his badge and you play as Apollo. But now we're playing as Apollo here because he's in the process of getting his uh, license back. I think we'll actually see, we might see him right after uh, the, the case. However, a few are allowed into the manor due to its cultural ties to Nine Tails Vale. LaBelle sent in motion plans to gain access to the manor and the gold within via the merger. The efforts of the amazing Nine Tails saw those plans come to a an halt. And thus LaBelle murdered the alderman and attempted to pin the blame on Mayor Tenma. I see, but what I still can't comprehend is why would he go after the gold in the first place? Mr. LaBelle doesn't look like someone who is in need of financial aid. Well, it just it sounds like he's a hundred million dollars in debt. <laughs> LaBelle's hit his fast past well, much like he hid his beauty with makeup. He's mired in debt. Debt due to pouring money into a brand only he could love. Which is why he sought the gold with such veracity. Too bad for him, someone else had gotten to it first anyway. Yeah, he has a falcon. The falcon attacks people a lot, actually. I see, very well then. I believe it's time to declare a verdict. This court finds the defendant, Damien Tenma. Not guilty! <laughs> Give us that. Yay, congratulations. Stop being creepy, please. Wait, is it a hawk? I thought it was a falcon. I don't know. They're like, whatever. They're both birds that eat things. Imagine starting a brand purely to make stuff for you and only you and still expecting to. Yeah, exactly. That's. 
That's narcissism right there. Court is adjourned. Bonk. Holy moly. Um, damn, we just hit the hour mark, too, for this recording. That was... Whew. You simply say, Bert, no, you're fine. I keep on saying, like, going between them, because I'm just like, I don't know. I'm not an ornithologist. Bird. It's a bird. There he is! There's our boy! Look at him! I feel better because I was talking about having gray hair earlier, but I think Phoenix has some grays too. And I believe he's this... he's... wait, he might be older than me now. At this point. Yeah, he's older than me. So it's okay. Everybody, we can have a little gray. If Phoenix Wright can have some gray, so can I. And then, I mean, Simon has like white-black hair, so that's like gray, I guess. I know, it's nuts! Holy oh. That was some seriously good lawyering, Apollo. Even I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Just got lucky, I guess. You banished Ten Mataro from Nine Tails Vale like you were some kind of exorcist. Yeah, I've got gray hairs in my beard. It's harder to see now that I've trimmed it. But I mean, like, I've got like kind of the salt and pepper going on on the side here, but the light makes it harder to see. Yeah, I am an exorcist, maybe. Um, there's still one thing I don't understand. How come Mr. LaBelle didn't kill Mayor Tenma, too? He could have set it up so the mayor murdered the alderman and then died from a counterattack. That would have removed at least one possible fly from the ointment. Athena goes to jail for plotting against m the mayor. When you dye your hair, you get free. Yeah, I know, exactly. I think I'm thinking about dyeing my hair again soon as well. I was I was talking to Dez about it. Because I really liked having green hair, but also having green hair would really mess with my green screen. It would look really weird, but she also said it would be hilarious. So I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go with blue. Yeah. I was wondering about that too. Looks like we're all our serial killers in our past lives. But I have a hunch LaBelle was biding his time. He was planning on exposing the amazing Nine Tails' true identity himself. Hmm? But why? Because the mayor was the amazing Nine Tails. Had LaBelle succeeded in framing Mayor Tenma for the Alderman's murder, the wrestler's popularity would have plummeted once his identity was revealed. Oh, I get it. If the amazing Nine Tails was just killed, he'd die a hero. But if he was proved a villain, his fans would abandon him, making the merger that much easier. Right. Then, when the merger was complete and everything cooled down, he'd be able to search the Forbidden Chamber at his leisure. What an insanely intricate plot. Yeah, fuck that guy. Ka 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 ka! A most excellent job clearing my name. A feat worthy of the demon lord's approval. Um, why are you acting like Ten Mataro again? Let this be of no concern to you. You could not concern me. Ten Mataro, be gone! Ah! Uh, Jinxie, yeah, it seems like ages since I've laid eyes on you. Papa, you're finally back! Yes, it would seem Ten Mataro's no match for you! <laughs> Aw, adorable? I'm not scared of that silly yokai anymore. Your father's a free man now, Jinxie, isn't that great? Thank you for all you've done. Seeing you guys in action, it... It made me feel like I don't have to be afraid anymore. Oh, she actually smiled for once. Ah, wait, is Jinxie actually smiling? This is all thanks to you two. Too bad the amazing Nine Tails will have to retire, though. I want to see him smile because it's probably the fucking most terrifying thing ever. Ah, how come? Once everyone hears I'm the Amazing Nine Tails, my fan base will nosedive. After all, I'm not the most popular people. Another reason for my secret identity. I don't see how I could possibly continue. Hmm, <laughs> I think you've misjudged yourself. Take a look outside. Hey, now that you mention it, what's all that noise out there? A big crowd gathered outside the courthouse once the news broke. It seems like they want a glimpse of Mayor Damien Tenma, the man behind the mask and to root for your return to the wrestling ring. 
As bad as the mob boss? I mean... I liked the mob boss, even though it turned out that those were his eyebrows, and he didn't just have sunken eyes. That was amazing. I gotta say, the sun, I could have done without him, though. He was a little shit. Rooting for me, but I thought I was nothing more than a malefactor in their eyes. The only one who really matters is Jinxie. Show her how cool you really are. Yeah, you're the coolest when you're out there fighting in the ring, Papa. Jinxie. Here, I think you'll be needing this. I just give him my attorney's badge. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Uh, okay, um. Uh, here, I'm um, sorry that uh, somebody used it to murder your friend. Thank you. Now, if you would excuse me. Hmm? I don't want to keep my fans waiting. Ah! Oh, look at him. He looks less scary in animated form. What the hell? What? Where? <laughs> no! Excuse me. <laughs> what? That's not how wet. No. <laughs> I mean, it, where, where did he put all the things? Where were those? That, what? I sure hope they can settle the problems between Tenma Town and Nine Tails Vale. Yeah, that, no, that's not, no, I've seen wrestling things and I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Me too. I'm sure they'll be fine. After all, the blackmailer slash killer is behind bars and the merger is no longer an issue. Plus, the amazing Ninetales is obviously still a hit, and I suspect Ninetales Vale will be too. That's all because we believed in our client, just like you said. Okay, people. Now that we've got that one in the bag, let's go get something to eat. I'm starving. Sounds good. I've been so nervous I haven't eaten since yesterday. Wow, Apollo, that's bad. Better keep eating, Apollo, or you might have to start looking up at me. Uh... Huh? I'm definitely past my growth phase, and you should be about past yours, too. Are you kidding me? I'm just getting started. Yeah, did you not know that women... She's only, like, 18. Women grow for longer. You're not. It's face-stuffing time. Keep eating like that, and the only direction you'll grow is sideways. Wow. Fucking rude. Very funny. But I've got a hollow leg. I can eat as much as I want without gaining an ounce. I, you know, a lot of people say that, but really? Wow, I can't wait to see this. Calories? Ha! Just let him try to stick on me. Uh, what? Wow. All right, already, you two. Let's get going before the old man closes shop. Eldoon's Noodles isn't an all-night stand, you know. Oh, no, we're going back there. But the salt. The salt content. I'm with right. Let's go. I... Oh. But the salt. The salt! I've been waiting to have a bowl from there ever since Mr. Wright told me about them. But what are we waiting for? Let's destroy our arteries. Noodles are on me today, so I expect some serious eating from you two. Yay, thanks, boss. I won't let you down. This is the last amount of money that we have. Athena has no idea what she's getting into. Mr. Eldoon's noodles are so hot and salty. Two bowls would kill a man. On our next episode, a man is killed with a bowl of hot, salty noodles. That was our first case together, and it felt like nothing could bring us down after that. Little did I know, the dark age of the law seemed so distant, so irrelevant to our small, cozy office. <coughs> But little did I know that it had been lurking all along, right there behind us. The first time it made itself known was during the murder at Themis Legal Academy. Dun, dun, dun. That case would mark the twilight before the dark, cold night that was to come. What is happening? Oh, that's Athena talking. I thought it was Apollo. Sorry, Athena. I gave you Apollo's voice. I just, or a voice. And a new episode has been added. Turnabout Academy. Okay. 
Save the game. Yes, please. Okay. Holy hell. There was a lot going on in there. But Daddy Tenma was the real fox man. We did it. Case two.